He likes to play pots and look at flops. He's calling. King eight versus seven five, and the flop is a king seven four. Wow, he is flop top pair. I'm talking about Mike. Pre-flop raiser Harry as flop middle pair. And Mike tries to take the play away and bets out of 325. Harry just calling with the sevens. Bench, you don't put your opponent on top pair. You think he'd check and raise with the top pair instead of lead out with it. I like the style. Queen on the turn. By betting out, it makes it look like he's got a drawing hand here. At least if you're sitting in Harry's seat. And Harry's going to make the call. That's what he thinks. Going down to the river. Now an eight comes up, so if he had a straight draw, he's got that. Mike hits two pair there. King's an eight, and he is going to bet again. Plunge it away, 675. Well, you can't blame him for betting two pair now. Wow, and he's getting called by just two sevens. His opponent put him on a stone bluff there, Vince. All he could beat was a bluff. Well, the reason why he got that action is because he bet out, took the play away on the flop. Usually that's when you get a little piece of it. Mike Escondary taking down a nice pot to extend his chip lead. Well, he mixes up his game beautifully. The crowd loving it here tonight. That king eight has been working for you, huh? Whatever card works, Harry. Sometimes aces don't work, and then three five off suit works. It is what it is.